De regreso aquí en Auto 060 en esta edición especial desde Brasil con el grupo Volkswagen, eh, Volkswagen de Brasil, la fundación Volkswagen y la entrevista que tuvimos con Pelé ahí en el estadio de Santos en la ciudad donde empezó a jugar, donde empezó la leyenda de Pelé. Así que continuamos con los comentarios de Pelé sobre Brasil, sobre el mundial, sobre la historia. What team are you gonna put me? <laughs> Listen, uh, I, I think I mentioned here before. 58. I think we have more individual players. No doubt, they will have Garincha. No, I, I mentioned that Vidi, Pelé, Rafa, Milton Santos, Djalma Santos, all the no top players. In the 70. We have a more organized team. Uh, it was, I think, as a team, it uh, was a much strong team than, than, than the 58. But uh, it was a good question, you know. Who should be winning? I think, I think 17 is still winning. 17 has an organized team, very organized team. It was a good history in the 70 because we have a lot of players. And then at the same time, same time, uh, myself, I was a number 10 of Santos. Uh, Gerson was a number 10 of uh, Flamengo, I think, or Fluminense. Uh, Rivellino was a number 10 of Corinthians. And Tustão was a number 10 of uh, Cruzeiro. Was it all the same players, the same position? Then a lot of newspapers in Brazil, they say, oh, this doesn't gonna work, because you know, just number 10, they do the same, same work in, in, in his team. It doesn't gonna work. Everybody started to criticize, to criticize. You, you see, it was the best team Brazil had, the best national team. Because we have time to train, the players was good player, you know? then we set up an excellent team. Do you think the United States ever will get like to the top of the world in soccer? Listen, uh, it's a good question because uh, the, the, the World Cup in Japan and Korea, the United States had a good team, almost come to the final. I think it was a half a mistake and, you know, and Jan was there too. And the United States, you know, today is a good team. Today, today, every team, every team is, is difficult to play because the, the players know each other. Almost all the players, they are friends in Europe, and then they, when they come to the national team, they, they know each other. Even Brazil, Brazil has a the national team, has a, you know, 20 players, 19 players play in Europe. Then it becomes very even. You don't have an easy game. You could play against uh, Germany, you could play against Japan or the United States. Or play against Italy and Argentina, you didn't have an easy game today because the people they know each other. This morning we were at a favela and a little kid playing in the street with no shoes and like a lot of skill. What's it in Brazil that produced that many quality players? Yeah, I come from there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I come in Bauru, in Bauru, a small, small town. We used to play them with the barefoot, you know, in small, you know, small space. That we come from. I think that's the reason Brazil has a, a, a facility to create players, to always have a good player, uh, because so we have this facility. Who's the best player for you in the world right now? Uh, good question. <laughs> it's difficult to say because, you, you, for example, I like, I'm going to say the two best players. Ronaldo, no doubt, and Messi, because I saw. Very, very, you no, know, two years ago, you know, as a mess. But, uh, for example, Messi, when he played in, 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 in Barcelona, is a one play. He played very good, but you know, but when he played the national team of Argentina, is different play. He plays he go, uh, the same. But, uh, but I think he is one of the, of the best. What about Neymar? When is he going to be the best of the world? Neymar. You know, unfortunately, he you know, went to Barcelona for 19, he was born here. 
But the other side, I think for him, was fantastic. Was very good. He has opportunity to play in Europe, and for him and for Brazil, because the, the, this is nine months, one year he played in Europe. He got more experience, you know. He played in a different level, and then for Brazil, for the national team, it was very good. But I don't think so. His first World Cup, I don't think he could uh, put all the responsibility on him to win the World Cup. Because everybody says, oh, Neymar is going to win the World Cup, or Neymar, but I think it's too heavy for him. It's a too, too big responsibility. Listen, uh, I think for the first time in the history, Brazil has a better magnitude back. The defensive system is better organized than after. Brazil always lost, you know, the team who play with the best players in attack. You know? Always. This is the first time Felipe, Filipão, he has a problem to set up the, the attack. We have an excellent midfield back. was excellent, I think. Is, is one of the best teams from the midfield back. But we have a problem. Until now, we don't know exactly. If I ask to the Brazilians, but then nobody knows the, 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 the players who play forward. The right wing or the, the, or the center forward or the midfield to, to prepare. To just say Neymar, we talk about Neymar, but we don't know how to beat the, the, the attack. This is the first time in the Brazilian history. How is a soccer or football different today than from when you were playing? Well, I think, uh, <laughs> good question. <laughs> uh, I think the medium and the, the, the visibility today you know, make the football more, uh, more precise, more, uh, let's say, important, more difficult than my time. Because uh, we used to say, in my time, you know, we, we have to, to travel all over the Europe. Santos used to play, you know, five games in Europe, five games in South America. Then one month, two months, the people say, oh, Santos play now. You know, everything is in the right time, you see, you know. The money is different, money. Then it's a big, it's a big difference. The, the only thing who I think uh, we could not uh, charge is the good player, the bad player. <laughs> then the good player is the good player, the bad player is the good player. It doesn't matter if people know exactly the moment or not. But uh, it's a big difference. What do you think about the selection of the I like, I saw some games last year. I measured already. I measured already. The, the, the German team is a very organized team. They have a, Different way to play, thought more, more control. I think one of the best teams today in Europe, uh, no doubt, is the German team. <laughs> Bueno, eso ha sido todo para la edición de esta semana de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Les recomiendo que vayan al canal de YouTube Autos Javier Mota para que vean el resto de las declaraciones que hizo Pelé durante la visita que realizamos a Santos con el grupo Volkswagen. Y además otras actividades que estuvimos allá. Fuimos a visitar, como escucharon en el primer segmento, el Instituto Bacarelli, una de las obras de responsabilidad social que hace Volkswagen en Brasil, también una favela donde apoya el desarrollo del fútbol, además de la visita que hicimos al Estadio Maracaná, donde se jugará la final del Mundial 2014 y para que Brasil juegue un partido en ese estadio tiene que llegar a la final, así que gran expectativa en Brasil por el Mundial 2014. Agradecemos a los departamentos de relaciones públicas de Volkswagen en Norteamérica en Brasil y en Alemania por darnos esta oportunidad de compartir la experiencia de Volkswagen eh, ju justo antes del Mundial 2014. Yo soy Javier Mota y los espero en una edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.